Hi, I'm Jorge Antonio Vallejos and you're watching BlackCoffeePoet.com. I'm honored here to have Shanice John Mohammed, author of Bleeding Light, presenting our first ever poetry workshop. Thank you, Shanice, for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to do this. Awesome. Well, Chanel writes guzzles. She has a whole book on gazelles. And uh, I'm just going to live, love, and learn. I'm getting out of the shot, and Shanice is going to take over. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering, what is a guzzle? Well, a guzzle is a form that started in 7th century Persia, and since then it has traveled across the Middle East and, of course, to the northern continent. So the guzzle means the cry of a gazelle when it is courted by a hunter and is going to die. So you can just see that the actual word of guzzle has connotations of suffering, but it also has a profound nature of love before death. So the guzzle history is, although rooted in the Middle East, has a couple of themes. And one of the themes is suffering, as I had mentioned. The other theme is also love. Love is twofold. Love for the beloved with a small b and love for the beloved with a big b. So you can interpret this however you like, but the first love is love of your partner. Uh, the second love is the love of the beloved or your connection with God or the creator or the universe. So oftentimes when you read guzzles, it's not that easy to tell the separation between the love for the beloved with a small b and the love for the beloved with a big b. And that's the beauty of the guzzle. It's open to interpretation. So since the 7th century Persia, the guzzle has traveled across the Middle East, but also to India and Pakistan. And then, of course, um, in Canada and the United States. And in Canada and the United States, the guzzle has been reworked and reformed. Some of the most well-known guzzle writers in English are Aga Shahid Ali, who passed away, unfortunately, um, about 10 years ago. And he tried to stick to the form as closely as possible. And then you have contemporary Canadian poets who've written in the form. Um, and they call the form an anti-guzzle. The reason I don't use this term is that I'm not trying to move away from the guzzle form, but try to keep it intact. And anti seems to me um, as an opposition to the form itself rather than the essence of the form. So what exactly is a guzzle? Well, a guzzle consists of couplets, which are two lines of equal length or equal syllables. And at the end of each couplet, there's a refrain. So you could either have a refrain that's a repeating word, let's say light. So light would appear in both the first line of the couplet and the second line. Or you could have a rhyming refrain, which would mean you'd rhyme light with bright or sight. So to give you an example, I'm going to take my own book, of course. And I'm going to give you an example first of a guzzle that uses rhyming refrains. So I'll give you the second line of each couplet, just so that you can see.
know how well you remember your poetry until you're writing it down.
Janice, thank you so much. That was amazing. I've learned a lot in this brief session, and uh, I'm very happy that you are the first presenter in our workshop series here on blackcoffeepoet.com. Make sure you get Janice's book, Bleeding Light. Um, right now, it's October 2011. Under this video, if you're not watching um, uh, YouTube, if you're on uh, blackcoffeepoet.com, under the video, there is a review of Bleeding Light. On the Wednesday, there is an interview with Shanice, and on the Friday, there will be a video of Shanice reading from Bleeding Light. So if you're just watching on YouTube, go to blackcoffeepoet.com, hit October 2011 in the archive, and you'll get to see more of Shanice and a review of her book, an interview with her, some more insight into what she does, and then a video of Shanice actually reading some of the beautiful guzzles in this book. Thank you for joining us. Friend me on Facebook, I am Black Coffee Poet. Friend me on Twitter, I am Black Coffee Poet. Keep looking out for more workshops. And do you have a Facebook page? I do, so it's just my name, Shanice J. Muhammad, which is up here. I also have a Twitter page, Shanice J, and uh, everything else you can possibly think of. So just Google me and you'll find it all. Awesome, and hopefully we'll have Shanice on here for more Guzzle workshops in the future. Thanks a lot for joining us. Take Thank care. You. Take care.